What's up, guys? Scott Martin here, Scott Martin Challenge, chilling in Chuckalusky, Florida, the headwaters of the Everglades, hanging out with my good buddy, Ranger and Evernew Pro, Captain Ray Van Horn. This guy knows how to catch them. He is the world champion, IFA Redfish champion. This guy knows a few things about these Everglades. Stay tuned, it's gonna be an awesome show. 14 pounds, five ounces. There he is. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah! Woo! Game time! Woo! Oh! <laughs> Look at that fish! Unbelievable! You know, when I thought about today's challenge, I thought, where can I go to catch monster redfish, big snook, and some big trout? I thought Chuckalusky, and who better to do it with? My good buddy, Ray Van Horn. I'll tell you what, Ray, Ray has been uh, tearing up the tournament trail for years, redfish tour, fish the bass circuit. I mean, this guy knows how to catch them. What's up, Ray? Hey, Scott. Man, it is a blistery cold February day. Welcome to my house. How you doing, buddy? Doing good. Man, this boat's looking sweet, dude. I'll tell you what, it's my office. <laughs> it's and an I awesome I love office. it, man. The new Ranger 2510 is hot as it can be. And that motor hanging on the back, that thing is... The G2, I heard nothing but great things. Mine is going to be here in about a week. I cannot wait. Man, we come down here, we can catch, hopefully, that Everglades slam. But we get here, the weather's a little squirrely. It's a lot squirrely, man. Full moon in February. Is that why the tide's so low? Negative seven, first thing this morning. Well, we've got a challenge ahead of us today, then. It's going to be. Here's a nice little cooler. Check this thing out, dude. You can go to the beach with it. You can do whatever you want with it. You just carry, pretty carry your cooler along. Pretty cool. So throw that up in there. Got drinks Alrighty. and sandwiches for you. You know, that's the thing about our show here, is that every show I've shot, over 100 episodes, we shoot them in one day. You know, we, we pull up to the lake, and, and we, we deal with what we've dealt with, with the weather. And weather wasn't the perfect, perfect situation. Uh, there could be a lot of better days, but we want to we want a challenge. We want a challenge on this body of water. Chuck Oleski's world famous for, for a lot of fish, lots of different things to catch. And uh, game on. Let's get after it. Dude, I can see the bottom, man. Woo, it's shallow. Yeah, you got it. You got it on where you're going, man. It's only about nine or ten inches right here. This thing is skating across some shallow stuff right here, man. When you're on plane, this boat is amazing how shallow to run. I tell you, the first thing I was impressed with getting in this 2510 with that new G2 is how well it jumped up on plane. I mean, we took off on plane, basically in the little canal because it just had enough water to get on plane, and we shoot across there. And I'm thinking, man, here we go, 10,000 islands, Chuckalusky Bay snook redfish tarpon maybe all kind of things it's as shallow as you can possibly ever have this bay and we're getting around in the 2510 yeah and, and that, uh, that's that's cool that's a testament to the boat design yeah. it really is yeah. and a lot of things that g2 all these components come into play that bob's jack plate that thing goes to the top faster than any jack plate made and when you go across those little shallow spots you have to. seven and a half inches of vertical yeah. in about six seconds when you want to have a boat that performs well in, in a situation like this, you need to have it rigged out right. We've got the power poles in the back there so we can stop to fish. I mean, this boat's really set up perfect. Put the power, power pole down. down. Now that's pretty cool. So you can wrap your leader right around that oval disc. That's right. Keeps, Keeps everything. Good. So last night, I rigged everything up, tied the really good knot with the 50 pound leader. Perfect. We pull up on that first spot make a cast out there. I think the first cast I make, I get a bite. Ooh, poor man's tarpon, baby. We caught a baby tarpon. And then Ray sets a hook, and we're starting catching nice ladyfish. I'll tell you, the tarpon could be in here, Scott. Whenever you got ladyfish, and this water is almost 70. Nice. I'm a ladyfish master. I'll take it. It's a fish. The Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. Trocar, the world's sharpest fish hook. Ranger, still building legends, one at a time. This segment of the Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by Evinrude, introducing the all-new Evinrude E-Tech G2, the outboard of the future, available today. Okuma Fishing Tackle, there's no stopping Okuma. 
Garmin, the clearest scanning sonar images on the water. Make sure to follow the Scott Martin Challenge online to stay up to date with all the latest videos, fishing tips, and much more. Don't forget to find us on Facebook for a chance to win a fishing trip with Scott Martin on world famous Lake Okeechobee. Hey Ray, I've got this stuff that I brought with me. You ever heard of squinchers? I haven't. You know, you're a health freak like I am. Staying properly hydrated is awesome. This stuff, I'll, I'll leave you a couple packs of these things. They come in these little packs here. There's 10 of these in here. And you just add them to your water bottle. I've already made up a couple. Here's the important part about this stuff. No sugar, low sodium, but high potassium. And as much as we're in the sun, you know, that's a big deal. You lose your hydration quick. Well, I'll tell you what, I live in the Everglades and it is Africa hot here most of the time. That's right. And most people, that's the easiest way to get ill is not, you know, be, be properly hydrated. That's right. So if, if there's a, if the product out there that can help me maintain that, that's a big deal. I'll leave you a pack of them, they're awesome. The 10,000 Islands and, and the Everglades is a, is a huge, huge piece of property. We saw a shark, a big shark swim by the boat and I wanted to catch that thing. Dun -dun -dun. Dude, look at the shark fence. Oh, yeah, right yeah, oh. yeah. Catch him. Oh. There you go. Prepare to take on a, looks like a black tail. Spun him out. Ooh. Yeah, he blew out, headed back out. I mean, you know, you could you could just come back here and target sharks if you wanted to. That's how many there are. Well, we can change the name of the challenge. I mean, we did the flats challenge, the grand slam. We can turn it into a black tick shark challenge for sure. I didn't bring any wire. You know, even though the ladyfish are a lot of fun to catch, today's challenge is all about the flat slam. That's redfish, trout, or snook. Just a few lakes over, we've got the uh, Alligator Lake area, the Dad's Bay area. Just a tremendous snook fishery. And even though there's a lot of snook in there, I knew it was gonna be a challenge, and it was, it was tough. There he is. Double up, baby. Nice. Got a little double, got a, my friend. Got a trout, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How about that? Now look at the difference in the colors of these two fish. Yep. Nice little Everglades trout. All right. Mission accomplished, my friend. Double. That's right. Third. Double. A third. A third we, we, have, we have one species off, off the list right now so far. And I'm thinking, man, that's what's, check that off our list. We've got the trout out of the way. Well, all we need then is a redfish and a snook, and, and you would think, and in a day's time, uh, you should be able to catch one of those. Woohoo! The way we can win this challenge, we have to kind of cheat a little bit. But, <laughs> but, but that was a very nice redfish. <laughs> That's what that was, was a redfish. It was spots on the side. It looked like a trout, but really a redfish. You know, I've caught a lot of funny things out fishing on the water. I caught a solo cup one time. <laughs> I, 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 caught a, I caught a visor. But uh, today, we caught an oyster. All right, that's the other we mission accomplished on that. Check that off our list. No, it's an that, oyster shell. There is no oyster in it. Well, a little bit there. <laughs> but, but that was part of our challenge, too. I, I, if you remember, at the beginning, I said, you know, flat you slam, said, uh -huh. redfish snook, oyster, trout, oyster. I said it kind of quiet. Oyster spinner. I mean, no, how many oyster shells did you catch today? I uh, didn't catch that. That's what I'm saying. Woo! We'll take them. Pressure's off on that oyster, man. I was sweating that. Jumper. No I got a jumper. Hold on. For real. It's a big one. Here we go. Here we go. Got it. Got it. Got it. Woo! Dude, I just did Mike Iaconelli on a puffer fish. How about that, boys? We're on fire. Look at him swelling up. Look at him. 50 PSI Look at him. right there, man. All right, that's an oyster and a puffer. Hey, we're knocking them out of the park, man. I mean, just ch check it right off our list. I said that, too, this morning. Well, when you were launching the boat, I screamed in the parking lot, and I added puffer fish to the list. All right, I love it. I love it when a challenge starts working out. It just takes time. You gotta have the right tide for that puff daddy. Closed captioning for the SMC provided by Angle Coolers, the original high performance cooler company. Check us out at angle-usa.com for more information and a chance to win an Angle Cooler dry box. This segment of the Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by Startron. Enzyme fuel treatment cures and prevents ethanol fuel problems. Powerpole. Swift, 
silent, secure. P-Line, delivering the leading edge of quality, high-performance fishing line. When I'm looking for hooks, I always stop in at Bass Pro Shops because they've got the largest selection anywhere, like the brand new Trocar TK135 HD heavy duty flipping hook. For more information, be sure to stop in your local Bass Pro or check them out online at BassPro.com. Let me tell you about a great boat accessory that not only will help your boat run better, but protect your investment. What am I talking about? Bob's hydraulic jack plates. You know, I've been running the Bob's hydraulic jack plates for over 15 years now without a stitch of problems. Every time I hit that button, that plate goes up and down. And here's why I run the Bob's. Number one, they're dependable. Number two, it gives me more speed, about two to three miles an hour on average. And number three, it's gonna protect my investment. So when I'm in shallow water, I jack my plate all the way up, get my boat up on plane, and then bring it back down to the proper running height. And you can get them custom painted for any boat color that you've got going, and that's important. Now, dependability, why are they dependable? Because they're American made, built right there in Tampa, Florida, custom built for every single order. Bob's hydraulic jack plates. These guys know what they're doing. A lot of people come to the Everglades just for the, you know, for the, the wilderness. The animals, the birds, the scenery. Then you throw in a, you know, three or four dozen fish. That's an epic day. We saw uh, some beautiful kites today flying, you know, the, the Everglades kite. We saw hawks. hawks. We saw an alligator. Oh, it's amazing. Just miles and miles and miles of rivers and creeks and bays and lakes. I mean, there's been a lot of people on the water today, but I don't think we saw but maybe three or four boats all day today. And I'll tell you what, these are the days that you learn something. You learn how to deal with atmospheric conditions. What is it? What is jack. it? Yes, we got a jack. Woo! Mark him off your list, baby. Oh, he's a jack. About halfway through the day, I'm watching the time and I'm realizing that this is gonna be a lot tougher than we realized. You know, we were very optimistic going out this morning. Hey, we're professional fishermen, right? We should be able to just pull up anywhere and just catch these big, giant redfish and trout like you see on TV, no problem, right? Well, it became really tough for us. And I started realizing that, hey, we might not win this challenge, so now we need to switch gears, just have some fun. There's Lots a trout. trout. There I got a good trout, trout, buddy. Very good, Captain Ray. There we go. That's a nice one. Oh, one was smoking me too. He was knocking a mess out of it. You know, that's a whole deal because even though the conditions were tough for certain species, there's always a fish of opportunity. And I think that's the whole message here that instead of just staying home sitting on the couch, you can still go catch a bunch of fish. Oh, yeah. And that's on the mirror lure, that little swim bait looking thing. Well, it's a little mirrodine, a heavy mirrodine, yeah. which has got a little extra weight in it so it can get down underneath those lady fish. Oh, I got a trout. I got a trout. Oh yeah, nice one too. Oh, dude. Nice trout. Pretty good. Man, why didn't we come here earlier? Man, look at that one. Beautiful. Nice, dude. Double. Beautiful. Hey, Ray, mine's bigger. No, mine, I got you there too. <laughs> Man, wait all day for this. Well, you know, the problem with the slam is that snook and redfish on high pressure can be a challenge. I did say this was the trout slam, right? We're catching them now, boys. That was a snook. <laughs> this started out being a backcountry slam deal. Snook, redfish, trout. Then all of a sudden, it was a puffer fest. Another puffer. Oh, Double puffer. Dude, dude. Double puffer. Here he is. He's in the boat. He's in the boat. Dude, how about that? How about that? Uh, that's that's serious puffer. You saw it here. First time in SMC history, we had a double puffer opportunity. I don't know about the puffer deal. I know they're tough to catch, and I know you caught two of them. That, that is a record for me, right? Two puffer fishing one day. Hey, that's the good thing about owning my own show is that we can add things to the list whenever we need to. Really? He's mad. He's mad. What's he saying? What's he saying? You're watching the Scott Martin Challenge. We'll be back with more right after this. The Scott Martin Challenge is brought to you by 
Impact. Fish more, snag less. Bob's Machine Shop. Go fast, go shallow, go efficient. And by Hendry County Tourism. That was a nice trout. You got a trout, dude. Yeah, yeah, nice trout. Look that jig getting down there. Oh, man, look at that. That's a fatty. Look at that. I think I get trout honors with that one. Let me show you what we're using today. What's really cool for me is I'm able to use my bass tackle here. This is my signature series Akuma rod. This is actually the frog swim bait rod, heavy action. It works great for out here for fishing for these saltwater fish. I've got it rigged up on 30 pound P line X braid and 50 pound P line fluorocarbon leader. That's real important. Got it matched up on my Helios reel. Today's been a challenge, as you've well seen. We haven't been able to catch some of those key fish. But you know, speaking of challenges, one of the biggest challenges I've ever had in a saltwater boat was catching those Goliath grouper with my good buddy Bo Johnson over at Boca Grand Pass. Take a look at this. Look at that hook, dude. That's it. I'm starting to get my feeling for this thing. I'm, my confidence level's up. I'm thinking we can get a big one. I start letting line out. It starts going down to the bottom. And he, he says, you'll feel the bite. Get him. Oh. Come on. That's going to be a good fish, son. Keep dropping them, keep getting them bit, because you know what? One of these is going to be that target species, three, 400 pound Goliath grouper. I'm talking pulling, strip and drag. I've got that Akuma Makaira full drag, 80, 90 pounds of pressure on that thing, and it's stripping that 400 pound off like nothing. This thing's like hooking a truck. Come on, lift. Oh, it's a big one, dude. Come on, son. He's still hooked up, obviously. You know, this isn't a flipping stick, and he's in the middle of it. This ain't no eight pound largemouth. Come on, buddy. Oh, dude. Pull, pull, pull. This is the big one, man. Pull. Pull. This is different. It's di yeah, this it's is different. different. Yeah, it's different. It's all I can do to hang on. I feel like I look like an idiot. The rod's all up out of position. It's all I can do to hang on to this thing. We get it up to the surface. I look over the edge of that boat, and I see, finally, the one we've been looking for, one close to 300 pounds. This is a monster Goliath grouper. Oh, yeah, baby. Woo! That's one. That's a big one. Can look at that fish. Bit? Wow! There you go. I'll oh take the rod. Uh, you know what? It took a little bit. Okay, that is awesome, one. buddy. I tell you what, man. I don't know how it gets any better than that. That's a big fish. Yeah, it's a great fish. That's a big fish. We finally got one of these monsters, man. Woo! Look at that fish. What a challenge. What a fish of a lifetime. So much fun. I'm ready to do it again. And that's what I love about this show. The Scott Martin Challenge is all about the challenges of either beating anglers, or like we did today, trying to beat these monster fish. You know, I've heard about Chuck Kolesky for many years about the great fishing over here, and it didn't let us down. Even though we didn't catch a big red fish or a big snook, we caught a lot of nice trout today. And that they spot were, you took me to was every cast. They were decent, and, and, and that's the whole deal, that something is usually on. It may not be the species, and if you head out and you've got preconceived you know, notions and ideas, you may get your feelings hurt. If you just go fishing and you make it fun, it's always good. Oh, there we go, there we go. Got him? Oh yeah, nice trout. Nice trout. Oh, dude. For real, nice trout. Way to finish. Ooh, come on, baby. Tell you what, man. I'm liking the trout. Look at that trout right there. Right there the boat. Yeah. There the boat. Yeah. Woo! Trout of the day, man. <laughs> that is a nice one. All right, come here, baby. I'll tell you what, Ray. We might not have caught our slam today, man. But I had an absolute ball. Look at that. That's a nice trout. There's a great trout anywhere right there. Nice trout. All right, baby. Scott, the Everglades won this challenge. I say we get a we get a redo. Absolutely, I'm Count me you, in. I'm inviting you back, man. I'm, I'm I'm in. Let's do it again, my friend. All right, you got it, bud. The challenge won today. It's we it. did not get the Everglades won. The Everglades challenge today, but we caught a lot of fish, and uh, I tell you what, enjoyed fishing. It was a lot of fun. 
we got to come back and do it again. Definitely on my radar to get some big snook with you and maybe some big redfish. Well, you know, we had the conditions we had, but the message here is you don't have to stay home. You can still go out, take the family, and catch a bunch of fish. Absolutely. You know, it's not always about just catching the target fish, but just being able to make adjustments to have fun and catch a lot of fish. And that's the one thing I love about the Everglades down here in this part of South Florida, is that the number of fish and things that you can catch is just amazing. We had what I would consider kind of a slow day, but we still caught tons and tons of fish. Well, I'll tell you what, Ray, the Everglades slam, it took us down today, Mark. <laughs> you know, it happens. It's fishing. It does. You know, that's the thing. We, we, we kind of picked the wrong day to do it, but at least we showed you at home how to salvage a day on not the best weather conditions. It was cold this morning. The tides are extreme with the, with the moon, but we caught a lot of fish, man. Yeah, I mean, you know, if it's about catching fish, uh, we caught a ton. Yeah. You know, uh, the snook bite's going to happen about three or four hours, <laughs> and it's going to be old dark 30. Unfortunately, I'm going to be home, be home hanging with the kids, but hopefully you guys at home enjoyed watching today's show. Learn a few things, and thanks for watching. Tune in next week. We're going to be on a new body of water with a new challenge. Thanks for watching the Scott Martin Challenge, guys. We'll see you. Let's get this thing on the trailer, dude. All right, buddy.